Hi everyone, it's Renee with Delaney Jane Cards. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video for you um, using the Create and Inspire kit. Well, actually two kits. And this is part of the Same Set Syndrome. It's a six month um, hop that's multi-platform. So you'll see uh, the next person in line is Leanne and I will have her linked below. Um, but what I'm using here is the kind of um, colorful, they were like icons. They're from, this is from the August kit. And then the floral here is from July's kit. So um, you'll see a lot of July's kit in this hop. I was lucky enough to receive the August kit early. And I will link an unboxing to the August kit as well as a five card video that I recently put up. Um, so if you'd like to take a look at that, you are more than welcome to. So what I did here was stamp out the paintbrush and then I masked it off. And now I'm going to stamp two of these flowers. I wasn't sure if I was going to stamp more. So I had cut a mask off camera, never needed it. Um, so I didn't use it. <laughs> this stencil comes in the August kit and it is like these paint swatches and they are awesome. There's all different ones. Um, it's super cool. You can just use it the way it is. You can move it around. Stencils are, stencils are pretty cool. Anyway, I ink blended that with some fade out ink just because I wanted to see where the splotch is. And now I am going to do some coloring. The, the theory or the idea I had here was that somebody was coloring <laughs> or painting because this is a paintbrush. And I wanted to um, do something kind of neat. I just thought that the way that this stencil is, is well, stencils are drawn first and then they're cut. But the way this stencil is cut, it would be really cool to do a spotlight of an image. And um, I wanted to give it a good shot. In my five card video, I did um, some really cool things with this August kit. I did not include anything from the July kit, so I thought that this would be really neat um, using the florals. And I, I just, well, I love the floral set that came out in July. You can purchase it separately. It is available. Um, I will have Create and Inkspire linked below. Um, it's Courtney Craver's brainchild. She has this online publication for card makers, and then there's a kit that you can purchase. Uh, if you are a member of the site, you can get the kit at a discount, um, which basically means like you're getting all of this online content as a bonus because in the end, it only costs you like 20 cents or something if you buy the kit and subscribe to um, the monthly um, the monthly club, which is super cool. There's a forum, there's card shares, there's challenges, there's articles, there's exclusive videos. It's like a whole community inside of itself and you don't have to go on to any social media site if you are not into social media. So for the flower I decided I was going to color it blue. So first I went and colored the entire splotch with my lightest blue. I wanted to make sure that I covered over all of that fade out ink and um, turned it blue. So you can see that the only places that are going to be colored besides the entire paintbrush is that one little splatter. And I guess I could have um, colored the center blue as well, but I thought somebody probably painted that first. <laughs> and I painted that orange or colored that orange well, is it painted or colored? Because that's a paintbrush. Um, I just thought it would be a um, really cool color combination. Um, that like aqua, blue, and orange. Now, I didn't have enough contrast in here. I wanted it to be much more contrasting. So I brought in a much, much deeper blue-green. BG09 is very, very deep. Um, so then I just blended that back out and I really tried to stay just inside that splotch from the stencil and I think it did a pretty good job of doing that. Have you ever tried something like this? It's very similar to Spotlight. I, I guess I would call it Spotlight coloring, um, but just in this random like splotchy 
like shape. I <laughs> just thought it would be kind of neat. Um, so I made sure it was blended out really good. I did want, you know, some contrast in there, but I really wanted it to look like it was one color with a little bit of contrast. So that's kind of what I was working here just a little bit, you know, to make it kind of look like that. So this six month hop that we do, uh, there are lots of creators and they're all over on all different platforms. Um, and we do this every month. We all work with either the same set or pattern paper or stencil or whatever it is for that month. That's what we're, we're working with. Oh, for the sentiment, um, the August kit has a buildable sentiment set. And uh, I took the you and my world and I stamped them in VersaFine Onyx Black. And now I'm going to take my color stamp here, which is super stained, um, which means very good quality stamps when they stain. Um, anyway, that was from my previous video, which again, I will have linked. Uh, but I decided to stamp this in um, um, MFT's cone, cone flower, I think it's called. Um, I stamped it a few times just to make sure that I had it nice and bold because it does overlap that paintbrush. It is a really thick font though, so that's why I could do this without hesitation that it would get lost. Um, and then I did go over it with my verse mark because I was not sure if those MFT inks would um, emboss well because I am going to heat emboss this in the August kit. Um, we received or you will receive um embossing powder by ranger it's the holographic embossing powder and it's just so pretty i have actually never seen it that the way that it looks caught on camera very well it does not photograph or video very well at all but i think i got it on my video i think you can really see it um, so here I wanted, I had trimmed my panel down a little bit and then I want to back this with a piece of black cardstock and I thought instead of just a simple piece of black cardstock, I would smoosh my, um, Versamark ink pad along the edges of this black cardstock and I am going to heat emboss more of that holographic embossing powder on there. Um, this is where you can really see how absolutely brilliant and beautiful and wonderful this embossing powder is. I want to <laughs> sprinkle it on all of the deep dark colors and really just watch it be magical. So melting embossing powder is always super fun. Look at, look at how gorgeous this stuff is. I can see why it is some of my friends favorite embossing powder because I'm a huge fan. Not only did I get a can or a jar of it in the kit, but I had a jar of it in my drawer that I had never opened. Um, because peer pressure, I bought it and now I'm super glad I have it because all I can see is Christmas cards, like Christmas cards galore. Uh, so I did put a nice um, layer of foam tape on the back of this panel and then I melted it on top of this gorgeous um, heat embossed black cardstock. Oh, I had a smudge white eraser. Um, Jen Bina gave me that tip that you can just use a white eraser on that and uh, comes right off. I added some Wink of Stella to all of the splotch all of the coloring. Um, wanted to make it super shiny and I like layered it on good. Uh, it is super sparkly and you'll see here in a few minutes I will get my flashlight out so you can see how cool it really does look and it catches all of that holographic embossing powder as well. So here I was just um, adding this to an A2 card and here you can see just how beautiful all of the holographic powder and the uh, Winka Stella is. I appreciate you stopping by. The link to the next person, Leanne, is in the description box below. And as I always say, give cards generously. Bye.